Website designers need to know what to include inside of your website design agreement. Let's talk about the most important clauses you need to have in your agreement. All right, so off the bat, you want to get into exactly what services you're providing. Of course, you're providing website design, you're creating a website for your client, but what are you doing specifically? And the reason why you want to be specific is because you want to make sure that down the line, there's no misunderstanding between you and your client as to what services you are providing. So usually I have this as section one, like that's what it, that's where it is in my template. And for instance, you could list things such as create websites. So whether this is via WordPress, uh, Squarespace, Shopify, you want to list that there. Design palette, SEO, analytics, and even things such as training, whether you're going to have some type of training in terms of how to use the website upon completion, um, whether there's going to be a strategy call beforehand, how long will it be? Let's say you're going to give a 60 minute strategy call. You want to put that in there. If you have your own services package, this is important. If you have your own, you can put that in there. You can take that right from your sales page, from your sales materials, and you can insert that right into your agreement in section one um, to serve, to show exactly what you provide. And if you don't provide something, you could say that too. Section two of my template shows any excluded services. So if you don't do, let's say, some type of uh, logo design or some type of very specific graphic design, that's not included. You want to put that there. No copywriting, no whatever it is that you want to make explicit that isn't included in the services. All right, I want to get into fees next. Who doesn't want to get paid, right? We're going to talk about the fees. My template is set up so that the payment is broken up into three installments. So basically, there is a deposit to start the project. And then there is a second installment and you can determine when that is due. And then the third and final installment is due upon completion of the project. But that's just one way to do it. Um, we all have different ways of operating our business. So let's say that you just want one flat fee paid at a certain time. You can do that. Another option is to be paid hourly at a certain rate. I have all those options included just in case you want to swap it out and put what works best for your business. And of course, you could always craft something if um, none of the options work for you. All right, let's talk about refunds. So uh, refunds is a section, again, you can write according to um, your policy and what you do in your business. Uh, the default of my template is no refunds. And the reason being is that website design uh, takes an incredible amount of resources and time and energy and effort. So I have it drafted that any uh, monies that you've received um, for work that you have completed so far, so this is not for uncompleted work, but for work that you've completed thus far, um, when the client terminates, that is your money to retain. Okay, let's talk about milestones and deliverables. You know that um, website design work is done in different stages. So you may design one aspect of the uh, website at one point and then do another part and so forth. Um, you want to note that in the agreement just so that the client can see the progression, the progression of the work that's being done. And, you know, if you guys have, typically you're going to have some type of due date of when the work is expected to be done. So this will outline the entire process, you know, whatever it is, whatever stage one is, two, three, have what's going to be delivered and when. And this can go both ways as well. The client, if you need work from the client, let's say you need certain images, videos, um, a logo, something like that to help you complete um your job to complete your services because you need that cooperation and you guys need to work in tandem together and speaking of this i like to put something about cooperation in my services agreement so um for this one i do have something about the fact that i mean you need the client to be um, communicative you need them to cooperate you need them to be responsive and so that if just in case the client completely i don't know goes you goes dark just stops responding um within you can note within my agreement how many days after which you're just basically allowed to keep the money you've received thus far of the work you've done and then essentially terminate the agreement because the client has pretty much abandoned you. I want to quickly talk about revisions. So let's say that um, you do submit some work to the client. Um, you might want to give them a certain amount of days to look at that, uh, review it, request any edits and return that uh, return that to you and then that way you can um, you know make the edits send it back to them for their approval you don't want to have too many cycles of this you want it to keep going around and around so you can indicate the amount of edits or you know rounds <laughs> that you can do this for but um, that's something that's important to include in terms of edits and revisions let's talk about site maintenance the default in my agreement is that you do not provide ongoing maintenance um, but if you do you can swap that out like I said I have a whole quick tip instruction sheet with alternative language so if you want to go in there 
go in there and you can grab the language where it says that you do provide ongoing maintenance and at what rate per hour you do that for. All right, if you need a website design template, be sure to head on over to legalgoodness.com. You can also uh, access it via the link in the description box below. Um, also, if you haven't already, download my business legal checklist and get 10 things you can start doing today to get your business up to date legally. All right, see you in the next one.